And good morning po, maganda umaga. Uh, let me just, uh, just give me one moment. Let me just turn on the other lights kasi ang pangit ng lights. Ayan, everything's good. Um, let me just this really quick. Ayan, magandang umaga po. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Alright, so yesterday, PSEI uh, recorded the yung pinaka, pinaka, pinaka mababang uh, value traded for this year, 2019. Uh, we know that the volume of PSEI was really, really low. And ayun, um, pinakita with the, uh, with the volume yesterday how, how bad it is to trade right now in PSEI. Right? Kaya nga po, um, yung mga traders natin, yung mga kilala natin ng mga traders, andun sa commodities uh, like Miss RB Necesito, RB Necesito is trading gold and oil kasi andun po yung volume. She's up 442.55 for this month. And then um, sa PSE, uh, or even in the US stocks, I am involved in stocks right now. I focus on stocks. My port is down uh, for uh, right now. But overall, kumita naman tayo for this month but not that much. It's because the volume of stock trading is really low right now. Um, Andyan pa, andyan pa rin kasi yung uncertainty of the, ano, number one is the uncertainty of uh, the trade wars. Still, wala pa tayong certainty on the developments. Number two is, um, medyo overpriced na kasi ang international market. Um, E-Toro, e uh, US, uh, we're trading E-Toro. E so, US market medyo overpriced siya, so medyo bumababa. But some, some companies are still climbing, like uh, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, we said the really good ones are still climbing up and others have already landed on their support. So it's looking well already after the strong pullback of the market. Um, PSE, sadly, wala tayong patutunguhan. Uh, let me just share PSEI. And so PSEI. And PSEI was green yesterday. 7891 po tayo close. But this is the this is the problem right here it's 3 billion 3.35 billion lang ang value traded natin when on the previous days makita niyo po dito on the previous days uh, today uh, dito sa top sa left ito volume plus 3.3 b lang uh, yesterday if we click other days on average it is at around 4 uh, 5.7 billion the other day uh, 5.5 billion and 4 billion, 3. Uh, isa yung 3.7 yung mga baba volume. Minsan umabot ng 14 billion. Um, minsan umabot ng 12 billion. But right now, the lowest that we have is 3.3 .3 billion. That's how low our volume is for PSE. So, again, I will not stop reiterating that trading is not the best uh, strategy right now in PSE. Where there is low volume, there is higher <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pasensya na. Nakikita niyo yung pangit kung mukha when I sneeze. <laughs> but anyways, my point is, where there is low volume, there is higher chances of failing in your trade. So as much as possible, I do not I do not want you to trade in this kind of market. right? Uh, we, uh, part of trading kasi is, um, part of your trading skills uh, you should learn is being aggressive at the right time. And this is not the right time to be aggressive. Kaya mga rinerecommend ko po sa inyo ngayon are doing test buys or binobodega lang muna is because that's the best strategy for this kind of market where there is no volume. Right? Mamaya na kayo mag-trend trading if ever um, maganda na ang volume ng market because ten trends tend to be longer when there is uh, what they call it when, when there's good market. Ngayon, meron naman nag-uptrend talaga pero iilan lang and it's very risky right now in the market. Pasensya na hindi pa rin magaling ako um, yung ilong ko um, inaano pa rin sinisipon pa rin ako. So still not that feeling that well. So I may, I may sneeze every now and then while talking. Um, so excuse me na lang po muna <laughs> in advance. Anyways, ayan, um, those are the two main factors of PSEI um, having low volume. Even US is having low volume right now. So if you want a good playing field, where to trade? Punta po sa commodities. Commodities and forex are the best money markets right now. Uh, Don't po tayo mag-trade. Kung gusto niyo pong 
kumita sa pag-trade. Okay? So, sa PSE, bodega, and wait for the trend to start. Uh, what you do is, you start accumulating. Whenever there are dips, you buy. And then, if ever it goes further down, you buy more, you buy more, you buy more. Yun yung ginawa natin kay BDO. I recommended BDO before. Sabi ko sa mga tao, at 100 uh, at 120, I told people na amura na niyan, bilhin yun na yan, and then if it goes further down, just keep buying more. Went down to 109, and this is where I strongly recommended BDO, and it is going up already. Right? So, medyo mataas na sa BDO ngayon. But, that was the best strategy during this time when market was really down. Okay? So, yan po. Um, ganun po gagawin natin. Um, it, this is the same with BPI. When, when BPI was down, I basically forced people. Sabi ko, Dito guys, bilhin nyo na sa BPI. Umakit ng konti, bumaba ulit. And then I recommended BPI again here. There was a very clear support, sabi ko sa mga tao. Pag hindi nyo pa pinasok yan, may, may, may problema na sa trading strategies ninyo. And then it did go up. But the strategy here was just buy this. And if it goes further down, just go, uh, just buy more. Because this is a good company and this has been very low already. And we have supports right here. So, and daming buy signals noon. Um... Same with uh, MBT ngayon. Sa MBT, yan yung pinapa, isa sa mga pinapabodega ko sa inyo. Uh, if you're, if you're, tri if nagbodega kay kay Metro Bank, you should have bought the law. You would have been able to bought the law. And we are already starting to climb for Metro Bank. Right? So, ganun po ang best strategy for this kind of market. So, I want to reiter reiterate that to everyone. Um, gawin nyo lang po ito muna ngayon. Huwag kayong mag-trade ng aggressively in our in PSE. It's gonna be very expensive for you guys, I tell you. Huwag nyo na po sasayang ng pera nyo. Huwag nyo pipilitin. Kung gusto nyo po talaga mag-trade, I invite you to eToro. Punta kayo sa kay oil at kay gold. Yun yung, those are the best um, commodities you can trade um, because volume for gold and oil is very, very big. So, yeah. Um, go for eto gold eto po i-trade ninyo um don't worry about uh, this is of uh, this is this should be a new experience for you don't worry on november 10 and 11 meron po tayong seminar uh with miss rb necesito right so she is our co-speaker um she'll be teaching her strategy in um in day trading okay so last month po ang earnings niya is 106% she topped uh, she placed uh 11th 13th yun nalagay ko, pero yung final results was 11th. She placed 11th on eToro's trading competition for Asia last month. And this month, she is already up. Um, RB uh, Necesito is already up 42.55%. Uh, I hope you can see that on your screen. She's already up 42.55 for this month. So do, that, those are very good numbers. 42.55 in just one month. Last month, 105%. So, pang isang taong kita na natin dapat itong 42.55 but RB is able to earn it at in just a month. So, um, yun po. Uh, I want to point this out. It's better to trade in a better playing field in this kind of market. So, I'm still inviting you guys to join eToro. When you do, please po, um, doon kayo sa, uh, use my link when you create an eToro account. Also, if you want to register to this event, just go to my Facebook page. We are going to teach you how to do it, how she is doing it. Okay? Uh, my registration link po dyan, And just click on it and you should be able to register. This is for free. We are giving this for free to everyone. Okay? Um, I want to go to the comments really quick. Joel Garz, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning. Then Carlo Turingan, good morning. Francis Fahilan, good morning. One moment, please. Ang ilong ko. Right, sorry about that. Um, yan. Um, good morning, Carlo Toringan. Francis Fahilan, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Then Raymond Arano, good morning. Uh, AC Fan, BPI, and ISM po. Right, so let's check the charts of these requests out really quick. Um, AC, si AC nasa picks ko to ngayon eh. Right, these are my, in my recommendations for today. So, dadaanan natin mamaya ito. Let me just get my picks really quick again. Number one, paborito ko ngayon. Number one, favorite ko ngayon si AC actually. Here are my picks right here. So, guys, please share the video. Pakishare po ang video sa Facebook. Groups ninyo sa Facebook walls po ninyo so that your friends will know about this program. And this could help them in their stock market journey. Ayan, um, AC Fen, si Fen, sige, daanan natin si Fen. 
um, nasa resistance si Fen eh. Nagre-resistance pa ngayon si Fen. So, it's really, um, it's not a good time to entry, to enter Fen right now. Um, resistance are sell levels. So, baka mabentahan na kayo dyan at bumalik yan. So, not good to enter right now si Fen. Alright, I don't wanna recommend it. BPI, nag-breakout sa BPI. Kaso nga lang with the volume of the market, I don't wanna recommend breakouts, especially breakouts at the top. So, as much as possible, I want to recommend BPI mamaya na pag nag-pull back and bounce sa MA20. Right, that should be the best entry for BPI. Okay, um, BPI, ISM. Tignan rin natin sa ISM. Okay. ISM. And so, 4.79 close ni ISM yesterday. So, this is good since ISM is dipping. Um, for those who want to go long-term kay ISM, Antayin niyo po muna itong mag-stabilize before niyo po pasukin. But we are at support levels right now. Anytime soon, pwede, itong, pwede na kayo mag-test buy. Buy the support and then just if it goes further down, just keep buying more. That is my recommendations for ISM. For trading, it's not yet on a good entry for trading. So I don't want to recommend it for trading right now. King Bakay Coach, good morning. Kumusta Coach? Doing well, right? How are you doing? King Bakay Coach, pasilip naman po si KPPI, DMC Green and salamat po. Alright, si KPPI. Alright, so KPPI, this is challenging, eh, right? Very challenging for KPPI right now. Um, you, though we do have momentum, so baka ito na yung pullback niya and bounce, we have a possible support here. Um, I don't recommend trading in this market, pero kung gusto niyo po talaga, this, can be, this could be a good pullback and bounce already for KPPI. This can be a good entry for you, okay? Um, at the very least, meron kayong support kung gusto nyo pas pasukin yan si KPPI. Um, next for KPPI, ang request is, Coach, ano na masasabi mo sa napapabalitang 2020 economic recession? Right, 2020 economic recession. Um, wala eh. Um, right now, jobs are pretty secure. I can't say there is gonna be a recession. Medyo pull pullback I would say yes may pullback kasi may sa US markets medyo mataas na but recession if there will be problem right now marami kasi yung causes ng recession uh, but right now okay naman uh, the companies are doing well uh, so I cannot see any recession right now um, the last recession was because of the housing recession yung government uh, housing yung nagkakaroon ng recession but right now supplies um, supply and demand is doing well kaya nga nagkakagulo si so, si China at si US eh, kasi yung supply is very, the market is looking very well right now. They want to they wanna be on top of it. So, I don't think there is going to be a looming recession. Magkaka-recession lang if magkaka-problema talaga. I think that's the biggest uh, factor lang right now. Uh, the reason for a recession, maybe a war or something. Tulad ni Hong Kong right, uh, right now. Hong Kong has, a very, uh, has a, had a very solid growth. But because of the issues of Hong Kong right now, politically, um, it's it's bringing an effect to the economy where, kasi Hong Kong's tourism is one of their major, uh, tourism nila ang pinaka, isa sa pinakamalaking, uh, what do you call this, factor nila para kumita, di ba? Um, and because of the uh, the issues right now in Hong Kong, and uh, natatakot ng mga tourists so so many businesses are losing clients and that's one i think that's one of the biggest reason um so susunod na recession natin is if the demand is not there anymore but right now um yan kay Hong Kong wala na kasi yung demand kaya nagka nagka recession si Hong Kong uh, for other countries for Philippines i think Filipinos are doing well we are a consumer country so we're still doing well, especially uh, mababa naman inflation natin. So I don't think there's gonna be a recession. So U.S. market naman, um, siguro if ever magloko lang si Trump, there's gonna be a recession. But um, Trump is very smart economically naman. So he's he is um, trying to hold back the growth. So yeah, um, para hindi naman po magbabol, di ba? So it's healthy because. Um, China is giving in to their demands and they're gonna meet 50-50 so they're gonna be sharing the gains. I think they're, they're, uh, the recession is... There's a possibility because of the uncertainties politically um, but if ever it doesn't happen, there won't be a recession. Right? There, there is no uh, valid reason to start a, a 
for a recession to happen in 2020. Aside na lang kung magkagulo talaga, uh, gumawa talaga ng gulo si President Trump. So, yeah. Um, Brian Solier, my buntag Sir Lloyd. And if recession happens, all I will do is, if there will be a recession announcement, is I will be selling my stocks and then that will be good, right? Ito, gusto ko guys, right? Um, I shared this image before. Recession is the best time to start investing. Right? Kapag nagka-recession, all you need to do is hoard your money. Huwag nyo lang po ilagay sa stocks. This is the reason why I want you to diversify. Huwag lang po sa stock market ilalagay ang pera. Kasi marami nang nagpakamatay dahil dyan. Never go all in on stocks because it's a high-risk, high-reward investment. Um, and you don't, you only put extra cash. Cash you can afford to lose in stock market, di ba? So don't worry about that. But I really want, if, if magka-recession man, that will be the best time to start accumulating stocks na nagsisipagsakan, right? Pag bumagsak mo yung stocks na yan, I'll just be buying more, right? I mean, bibenta ko na yung stocks ko, and then once the recession has bottomed out, that's the time to build, that's the time to plant seeds. So if a recession happens, then good, um, I can start fresh and, and ride the market while it's down, okay? If you're an investor, it's not good for it's not good for traders. But if you're an investor, hopefully, ma, ma, ilabas nyo lang yung pera nyo. Simple as that. Yes, uh, expe- uh, losses are expected. But when the market is down, that is the best time to buy it up again. Okay. So if recession happens, then I should you should have cash available to to invest again in the market. Okay. Uh, Biscuit, very good question from Nico Managa. Alright, Biscuit Z, good morning, sir. Kailan po ang $50 credit nung umaten ng training? Um, end of this month po, papasok yan. So, kasi nag-extend tayo, ng, nag-extend tayo ng promotion to everyone, not just the attendees. So, um, iisahin lang po ni Itoro ang pag-process nun. So, hopefully, makapag-seminar ulit tayo in the near future so that we can have more promotions. But we have a very good promotion. I want to I wanna just give everyone a heads up. Uh, singles Day, uh, that's one of the biggest 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 event in when it comes to um online selling the singles day 11 11 um it's the black friday for asia um so yeah um there is gonna be a promotion itoro is gonna be also riding the 11 11 um there's gonna be a good promotion for itoro um so abangan nyo rin po hindi lang po yan sa mga first time funders that's for everyone okay so, abangan po natin. Biscuit Z, good morning. Kailan po? Ayan, nabasa na natin. Reni Glenn Ubarco. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Saan po makikita ang balita, mapanood ang mga balita? For international market, go to investing.com. Investing.com. Balita natin yun. Puro Marjorie, mga bareto. <laughs> Buta kayo sa investing.com. So that you can see the best news in uh, the in the market, right? So, makikita nyo po dito ang mga articles na dapat tinitingnan nyo po. Right? So, check this out. Um, Brian Solier, mayang buntag, Coach Lloyd. Mayang buntag din. Paki-insight naman sa BAC. Salamat. For the international market, BAC. Bank of America Corporation. Uy, breakout. Right? This is good. Right? So, yeah. Uh, we I think we talked about this before, di ba? Um, this was the breakout of BAC and then it just confirmed the support and this would have been the best entry point. This was the best entry point for BAC when it did a breakout right there uh, from this resistance, right? So that's that was the best entry. Right now, medyo mataas na. It's very high risk already. Wait for a pullback na lang and then bounce so that you can, uh, when if you want to get in BAC kasi medyo nakalipad ni. This, this first green would have been the best entry point for BAC. But yeah, this is con- this is on an, on, a, on a good trend. Pwede po sa Kenyan. Oliver Degasgan, sir, CPG po. CPG, one of my favorite stocks right now. CPG, oh no, not BPG. CPG. Right, CPG. Okay, napupullback pa. So this is good. Recommended CPG here. Uh, sabi ko sa inyo, budugahan nyo na yan sa support. And umakit na si CPG. Where we, where we were waiting for the pullback and there it is. Let's see where it where this will land. The next bounce should be our best entry point for CPG. Oliver de Guzman. Aldrin Barte, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights on MPI, FNI. Alright, so MPI and FNI. Guys, let me just turn on my fan really quick. Ah, ang init na ng kwarto ko. <laughs> So, CPG, uh, this is done. Uh, we'll go to MPI. And MPI. 
Alright, MPI. Uy, ayan. Uh, MPI, we have a support for MPI. Right here. So we're reaching those supports. I think this is a good bounce already. Uh, I'm not sure if ever bobalik pa ito sa support. So if you wanna if you wanna bet on this bounce, you can buy some. Uh, buy some and then if it goes further down to support, then that is where you buy more and then use this support as your as your ano, as your stops if you wanna trade MPI. Right? But then you know po testing ito kasi baka umakyat na naman. MPI is a good company. Anyways, and minigyan sila ng pera for their uh, for their hospitals. So yeah, that's gonna be very good for MPI. FNI 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 is playing around resistance, so it's really hard to trade FNI right now. Um, yung trend lang naman ni FNI because tumaas si, yung tumaas yung nickel prices ng market. Eh. But right now, we're already way up there. This is too much of a climb for me already. So I don't think there is any, there is, and this is already 38% climb for FNI. And hindi naman aabot ng 38% ang increase ng presyo ni, ng nickel sa market because of the ban in Indonesia. So yeah, this is already too high of a climb. Sobrang 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 lakas naman ng galaw na yan. So I don't want I don't think this is going to go up any further if it's going to go up, may hirapan po yan. So I cannot recommend that. Take your your take sir with IRC. Yes, I've been recommending IRC. Na recommend ko na si IRC sa support, di ba? So it was at the support, it's starting to go up. So congratulations sa pumasok kay IRC dito sa support. Congrats, and I think this is gonna be a good. Um, this is gonna be a good trend already, uh, though the market is very thin, so we cannot expect long trends. Look at this, nag uptrend ng konte, tas tapos na, bumalik sa support. Maybe mag uptrend na naman ito. Problem is high risk na po siya ngayon. Dapat noon pa no when I've been recommending IRC dito pa sa support. Sabi siya nyo dagahin niya by as long as the support holds. May jo matas na si IRC ngayon. Um, it's high risk already. It's not a good time to enter anymore today. Jose Delfin magu Maguad. Ipit sa dos eh. Jose Delfin. Ah, si IRC sa dos ka pala pumasok. Right, I can't say trends were, are gonna go up right now quickly. Especially the market is very thin. Um, kaya, wag na po tayong umasa muna sa dos. Masyadong mataas po yan. What I can recommend for you is go to my YouTube channel. Because since, ano, since um, uh, IRC is doing a rally right now, uh, use my, this video, uh, Average Down Lloyd Bazaar. Search for Average Down Lloyd Bazaar. This video should come up. Itong how to average down without adding money in stocks. Right now, um, IRC is on a rally. So you can sell some of this. Watch the video para makuha nyo po. You can sell some of this at the resistance and then if it goes further down to support. Dapat dito pa lang, if you already knew of the strategy, um, go to uh, go to the video. Ito na dapat ang sell natin. You sell some here, and then you use that money to buy some here and you, this would have pulled your average down and umakit na naman siya. Sell some here again and then buy again at the support. Ganun dapat. So hopefully, um, you watch the video today. Pag pinanood nyo po, hindi lang po para ito kay Jose Delfin sa mga ipit dyan. And if it's a good company you are invested in, um, this is how you pull your average down. For example, kay Jollibee, ipit kay, kay Jollibee. This is how to average down without adding money in stocks kung ayaw nyo po dagdagan ng pera. Okay? So watch this video. This is gonna help you a lot in your uh, in your positions. Um, si IRC, yan, tapos na tayo kay IRC. Medyo mataas na. Uh, Daniel Abarquez, good morning Sir Lloyd uh, IBKR at alay po sa international market Galing, international market IBKR Interactive Brokers Group Uy, nasa support siya Right, um, I wanna look at the news May lumabas na earnings si IBKR Maganda naman yung earnings report niya Yeah, this is a divergence bottom pala Right, um any green soon should be a buy for IBKR, right? You can test it out and then, then, then just cut loss below the support. But this is already a good support for IBKR, right? Especially the earnings just came out and it's a positive earning. Um, the zero fee, zero fee trade war is spilling over to bank giants, right? Hey, so, yeah, um, check out the news about Okay, naman. Ito, this is the scare of the banks, kasi, but the earnings should be uh, should be enough to lift this support. So if you see a green, 
Test by the support and then just cut loss below that. Um, Silas Coach, which stocks yung pinakamura na pang long term? Pinakamura na pang long term? Hmm. For me, it's ATN, right? Um, I'm recommending ATN for long term. Um, if naghanap kayo ng pinakamura na pang long term, I would recommend ATN. This, their business model has a very good long term uh, growth. So yeah, pinakamura is ATN right now. So this would be my best bet for long term si ATN. Okay, Emily Golds. Um, I'm into long term for ATN, so we are at the dip levels right now. I just what I keep what I what I do with ATN is I'm accumulating stocks, and when, whenever it dips, this is where I usually buy the stock, and that's why I always recommend this also whenever there are dips, buy the dips for those who are long term investors. Kay ATN, Ericsson, Lodi, PPG po, pwede going long term. PPG, pwede bang going long term? I can't recommend PPG for long term. Um, Hindi ko recommend for long term eh. But though it's doing well right now. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll read more about PPG, okay? Um, to be honest with you, the fundamentals of PPG is I'm not really familiar with. I basically closed out my fundamentals book sa, sa PSE. So, kung ano yung mga kilala ko sa PSE, yun na yung, yun na yung what they call this, yun na yung Ginawa ko, I did not expand that much because I am starting to expand in the international market. Yung fundamentals ko ngayon, yung binabasa ko mga companies na sa international market na. Alright, so PPG, I'll check this out for you. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an answer one of these days. Alright, so PPG. Meron pa pala si Alay. Is this um, Alay Financial? Yes, Alay Financial. Uy, may bounce na. Alright, so this is good. Uh, earnings wise, maganda, uh, okay naman ang earnings ni Ally Financial. You can test out the support na green chai yesterday and with with healthy volume on the bounce. This is a buy for me actually. Then you just use this support uh, for your basis. If ever mali tayo, just cut your losses down there. Okay? So, good find for Ally. Right? Ganda na support na ito. This is a descending triangle if you want to be more conservative. Um, this is an aggressive entry, itong support ito. If you want to be more conservative, nakita niyo po yung resistance na downtrend, di ba? So if you wanna if you wanna be a conservative player, so from this down um from this uh downtrend line, just use a breakout for conservative players for ally. Uh you have um it helps to be conservative in this market, especially sa US market na medyo manipis na rin ang volume ngayon. Uh, but not as nipis as PSE, but compared to other days, medyo manipis si, uh US market. But still doing well. US market still doing well, still doing good. Um, yeah, um, breakout should be a good entry for this for, for further confirmation. Okay. Um, asan ako? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, namis ko ng gusto itong daily grind mo. Hello, Emily. How are you doing? Um, Ericsson, PPG, Neville, DDLR. W po. Si LRW, same with LR. Pares lang naman ng sentiments yan. LR is on the support. Si DD is in my picks for today. So, daanan po natin yan. Uh, Jose Delphine, thanks sir. I've watched it yesterday. Bala ko ngayon gamitin yung average down without adding money regar uh, regarding IRC. Alright, that's good to know. Reynold Minion, uh, good morning, sir. Meg, please. Alright, si Meg. Um, hindi ko pa ma-recommend si Meg eh. Mataas pa si Meg. Alright. We're waiting for Meg to really do a pullback kasi nasa gitna tayo ng support and resistance. This would have been the best entry. Kay Meg, sana pumunta ng resistance para sa mga nakapasok sa support. Diba? That's hefty gains. I recommended Meg here. Um, I cannot recommend it right now. Malapit na tayo sa resistance but a good pullback will be a good entry. Maganda naman ang company so I think this is still gonna go up. Uh, challenging. Well, at the very least, if you still wanna enter, at least there's a resistance that was formed for three days. Uh, you can use a breakout for that and then hopefully makakit kay dyan. But make sure it's worth it yung risk ninyo. You do the math na lang, okay? RB Necessito, good morning, Sir Lloyd and everyone. Oy, nga pala, si RB guys is watching us. Um, RB Necessito, ito, uh, day trading. She's creating a channel for YouTube for day trading to share her ideas. Also, you can also subscribe to her channel, RB Necessito Itoro Day Trading. Nandiyan po sa comments, hanapin niyo po si RB Necessito. Yun po yung ch channel niya. Okay, RB Necessito is our speaker 
for the November 10 and 11 seminar. She is up 42.55% for this month running. Last month, 105.97 po ang gains niya. Matinding gains po yan. And if you want to learn how she does it, join the seminar. It's for free. Right? Just go to my Facebook page and register and just follow the registration. Right? Um, RB, good job. Um, Janice Ra Rabutan, MSFT, Sir Lloyd. MSFT is still in my port, right? So, portfolio, I'm still holding MSFT. Nag-positive siya ngayon. Uh, let's look at MSFT's chart. Medyo nasa resistance to eh. Kaya medyo challenging eh. Um, I'm holding MSFT for long term. If this is gonna go down, uh, I bought SM MSFT here sa support kasi. If it, this is gonna go down, then I'm just gonna be buying more because I'm into Microsoft for long term. It attempted to test the resistance, kaso nga lang nag-fail, and starting to give us good price action, starting to give us higher, hopefully mag-breakout. If you want to enter MSFT, best to do a breakout na lang, right, for MSFT. After this very long cons uh, consolidation, nag-consolidate ngayon sa MSFT. Rod Tayaktak, good morning sir. I watched your videos. Thanks, marami ako natutunan. Alright, thank you so much uh, for supporting the videos. Also, I'm happy to help. Reynold Minion, PPG, bounce na sa MA20. Maganda bang blazer? Alright, si PPG. Mga pala, si PPG, nag-bounce nga ito. Alright. So, if you see a green today, we can test that out. If you want to test a PPG out, um, trend trade, um, I don't like this because it's already way up there. Pero trend trading... Um, the trend is your friend pa rin naman. So if you want to test this out, wait for the green, get in near MA20 as much as you can, and then use MA20 as your support if you want to trade this, Reynold, okay? Uni Atilio, may buntag, Sir Lloyd. Ug sa tanan, may buntag din. Um, architect, Chief JFC, any reco or entry price thanks to JFC, nagpo-pullback pa. Um, anytime soon, pag nag-bounce ito sa MA20, that will be a good entry point for JFC, right? So, yan yung sabi ko sa inyo, huwag nyo pong hahabulin sa taas sa JFC. Well, let's wait for the pullback, and now it's giving us a pullback. Let's wait now for our signal to enter and use MA20 sa mga magta-trade kay JFC. And for sa mga naka-long term, any bounce soon should also be a good entry point for JFC. Um, Bloom, sir, good morning. This is from Notza Martin PH Bloom. Alright, so Bloom. Alright, so bearish signal pinapakita ni Bloom. Eh. We'll see for sure um, in the coming days pag nag-break out ito from the downtrend line. Uh, so, medyo bearish pa si Bloom. I don't want to recommend it. PNB is in one of my recommendations last, a few days ago. Diba? Si PNB. And there it is, starting to go up already. Recommended PNB on this support and starting to go up already. I think pwede pa rin naman hambulin si PNB. It has good price action right now. So yeah, um, medyo mataas na, taas na risk natin if gusto nyo pong pasukin. But yeah, I did recommend PNB already. Recommendation ko po dito is bodegahin nyo po ito. And if it goes further down, then just buy more. PNB is a good company. But yeah, good thing na recommend natin kasi market na si PNB. Um... It's already 8.50. Um, RB Necessito. Yay, thank you, sir. You're welcome, RB. Thank you so much for sharing your ideas. Also, Michael Lalusin, DMC and Nickel, sir. DMC. Or si DMC, ay. Narecommend ko to dito. Budagihin nyo sa unang bounce niya. Medyo umakit na. Ito yung problema. It's really hard to catch this right now since nasa taas na. But it's doing a pullback after touching the upper Bollinger Bands. So, this is a good sign. So, we're waiting for the pullback and bounce. So, next bounce should be a good time to, to test it out. Antayin lang natin ang bounce ng DMC. So, mga gusto mag-trade sa kanya. Si Nickel naman. We have a support for Nickel right here. If you want to test it out, this is the best time to test it out. But again, Nickel is already too high for me. I don't want to play with that anymore. Joan Cornejo, good morning. Alvin Galvez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And... Ma'am RB. Alright, so Ma'am RB pala yan. So, it says, Ohio, Gazimus, Apple, and Pizza po. Right, Apple and Pizza po. Si Apple did an all-time high yesterday after the strong sales of... Uh, na lang ha. Apple Inc. AAPL. Yeah, all-time high yesterday for, AA, uh, for Apple. So, amazing, amazing, amazing climb for Apple and look at where you should be catching an MA20. Right now, masyado mataas na po si Apple. 
hantayin lang tayo na susunod na pullback and bounce for Apple kasi medyo mataas na but it's on a strong trend right now so congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Apple pizza, no not pizza here pizza and PSE <laughs> ah, ilong ko grabe, di pa ako magaling guys pasensya na so pizza after the strong spike yesterday so this is good for pizza I want pizza to do a pullback or actually okay na to Right, we have we are showing divergences levels already. Um, let's see how much majumatas na yung risk natin dito. Eh. Ah, pede pa. Right, um, kaya pa. If you wanna enter pizza, you just use this as your support for pizza. Pede pa habulin to si pizza. Masaya, medyo mababa pa. So good morning, daming ko learnings from your YouTube from Robert Nisserio. You're welcome. May mga seminar po ba kayo mga nakaschedule this coming months? Gusto ko matem. Sana malapit sa Lucena City, Quezon Province. Thanks po. Um, next seminar po natin for for November 10 and 11 is gonna be here online and then we have another schedule for November after that kasi mag, mag South Korea tayo so sadly wala pa ako schedule in December we're gonna be in Vietnam uh, so medyo wala na tayong schedule for this year uh, most probably next year makapag-schedule ulit tayo sa Luzon right Luzon um, Lucena City, Quezon Province, medyo malayo rin eh. Pero, um, sa mga hindi po maka-join sa seminar ko, I have a video, I have recordings available of my previous seminar. Send me a message at Financial Fred Freedom 101 so I can send you the details on how to gain access to it. Right? So, meron po, pwede pa rin makamag-access sa mga seminar videos ko noon. Right? So, if ever, mahirapan talaga tayo to see personally. Okay? Um, Renny Glenn Ubarco, ano po may bu bubudigahin sir? Huli na kasi ako. <laughs> sa ano bubudigahin? Hindi pa tayo nakapag uh, hindi pa tayo nakapag um, nakapagstimula sa uh, recommendations ko. But yeah, here are the recommendations for today. Daanan natin yan in a bit. Malapit na kasi mag 9. We will start the recommendations at 9. Okay. Um, Thank you. Okay lang po ba nakapasok ako sa breakout ni Apple? Okay lang. Success. If you applied um, uh, breakout strategy for AAPL, this is okay. Okay? Walang problema dyan. Um, was it a breakout from here or was it from here? So, yeah. Um, as long as you know what to do with breakout strategies. Okay? Michael Lalucin, I already signed up with you in Etoro Copy Trade. Olivier Danville, thank you, sir. Waiting for the $25 dollar bonus. Okay, but hindi po lalagpas ng October yan. This, that, that is being processed this week already. So most probably by the end of this week, you will receive the promotion, the bonus already. Techi P, good morning, sir. Lloyd, for your recommendation po. Usually, how many days po ang holding period? Thanks a lot. Um, I don't give it an ultimatum as long as it will climb saka ko naman gagalawin yan as long as hindi po ma-hit yung yung stop loss ko hindi ko po uh, hindi ko po uh, bibitawan yan we don't know for sure how after how many days it will move for example si MBT uh, si MB, no no not MBT si, DM, uh, si DMC uh, it lang araw rin yun before umakyat no no not DMC was that MBT? MBT it ilang araw rin ato so MBT I uh, already recommended MBT during these days, right? So it took how many days? Let's say price range. No, not the price range, date range. So from the moment I recommended it, it took 22 days, 16 bars, right? 16 bars, uh, meaning 16 trading days before siya nag umarangkada talaga. So I cannot say for sure because no one can predict the market. It's just that uh, what I can see in the prices are it's starting to stabilize. We don't know when for sure the, st the volume is going to kick in. But we can see that people are not selling anymore. right? We just wait for the buyers to really see and try to test out and contemplate if pwede naman bilhin si Metro Bank. Especially ngayon, na ma ma napakanipis ng market. The volume is very low. We cannot expect for the stocks to go up right away. Okay? So it will need patience for you to uh, for your for your positions to gain. Okay. Okay, so I'm done. Uh we'll now go to my recommendations for today. But before we go to the recommendations, plug lang ako ng content, guys. Join us in eToro. We are trading the international markets already. And when you create an account, you can help the channel. Uh, pwede nyo po akong tulungan uh, with my mission in Financial Freedom 101 to educate as many Filipinos as much as possible for free. Um, pwede nyo pong gawin yan 
for free also to help the channel for free um just create an eToro account and use my link and if when, when you trade just use that account right so malaking tulong po yan sa channel natin okay um again please create the account using my link and then po yung link sa video descriptions when you open an eToro account please make sure you use the link okay um and then also part of the one that i'm saying na free seminars okay free seminars po november 10 and 11 this seminar is for free. Uh, the speaker is Miss RB Necesito and me, right? Um, she is gonna teach you how she is doing the trades in gold and oil commodities. Po and trade niya. Very good volume in this playing field. Even if the market is going up or if the market is going down, you can still earn. That's the beauty of the international market. Even the topic natin ngayon napakalit ng volume ng PSE. Why will you force yourself to trade here when there's a better, better playing field out there that we can do, right? So, Miss RB will teach you how she is doing it. Wag po kayong, wag po kayong mag-trade sa PSE. Yun yung po gusto kong sabihin. Wag po sa PSE. Malipis po ang volume. It's really hard to trade right now in PSE. Best to do just investing or position trade or bottom picks in PSE. Um, if you really want to make trading your career, um, join the seminar. This is for free. And then, and then po yung registration link, just follow the registration instructions so that you can join the seminar. Okay? Um, JR, kailan yung, sir, yung bonus sa eToro? Hindi po matatapos ang October na wala po yung bonus. So, it should be out for this week. Okay? Antay lang tayo. A little patience. Um, again, November 10 and 11, ang part 1 is gonna be at 6 p.m. Part 2 is gonna be at 5 p.m. Ang part 1 is we're gonna be talking about preparation, technical analysis, ano yung mga signals na titignan natin, and the theory behind day trading. Why gold? Why oil? Okay? And then, on day 2 is live trading talaga. Miss RB is gonna trade live in front of you during the webinar para pakita niya po how she enters, what are the signals, para po matutunan po ninyo sa first part. and the second part, we will encourage you to trade also on your own right so we will do that for free for you guys just follow the registration instructions right there okay um ayan um kailan sir yung bonus yan nabasa natin lahat right so let's go to my recommendations tapos na tayo with the plugs um here are the here are the recommendations medyo marami rin ito kasi ang dami na sa baba ng stocks eh Right, number one is, um, paborito ko ngayon is Ace. Alright, sorry about that. Um, Nagka-power trip. No, I'll just wait for... Ayan, so we're back. Alright. So, sorry about that. Alright, um, ano nangyari sa stream, Sir Lloyd? Alright, so, sorry everyone. Um, there was a power trip. Namatay bigla yung computer ka. I think my AVR is already defective. So, hindi na siya nagsaserve ng purpose yet. So, I need to buy a new one. The expenses of doing live for you guys. <laughs> but anyways, this is, this is well worth it. A very good investment. I, I want to invest in helping you guys. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go back. Pasensya na. Nag restart ang PC ko, biglang namatay yung AVR car. Not really sure what happened. Right? Um, I hope it's. Uh, can you tell me, guys, if you are seeing me again? Is everything okay already? Before I continue. <laughs> May iba lang. Ganda ng pader, grayscale finish. Um, yeah. Um, yung buong bahay po namin is in grayscale finish. Uh, I'm not fond of really um, much colors. So, if napapansin niyo po, yung mga damit ko, nothing fancy. Uh, a little about my personal life. Right. Um, everything is grayscale. Even my floor is in grayscale. Right. So, yung kwarto lang ang nakatiles. But outside, yung bahay namin is yung floor even is on grayscale. So, wala pong kulay yan. And grayscale and wood po yung theme ng bahay namin. Okay? Um, right, so okay na. Right, so good to hear that. Um, pasensya na ulit uh, because of the issues, um, technical issues here. I need to buy a new AVR. 
Guys, gawa na kayo ng eToro account para may pambili ako ng bagong AVR. <laughs> Alright, so again, here are my picks for today. Uh, I'll just post it again just to make sure. Okay, um, ang ilong ko ang hindi okay. <laughs> Sensya na. Um, AC! Paborito kong pick ngayon. Recommended AC already here. Dito, dati, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, just buy the support already. If it goes further down, then just buy more kasi hindi natin alam kung aakit yan. And umakit nga. And right now, umakit si AC and then we have a bounce. That's a higher low already after a divergence level. So this is a very good sign for AC. Good, uh, what you call this, good um, price action. So I will recommend you buy that. And then, use this support right here. Ito sa baba. Uh, bodega bodegahin nyo po ito. Ang gagawin nyo po dito is buy here. And then if it goes back to support and bounces, you can buy more. If not, if you don't want, pwede rin hindi. Then, if it goes further down, then just copy it. I mean, hindi, hindi copy trade. Just buy more if it goes further down. This is a very good company you can invest in. Um, Alright, so next kay AC, uh, my nose is really disturbing me. So, pasensya na po. DNL. Uh, si DNL, I'm recommending DNL right now. After this strong divergence that DNL showed, I am recommending it at last. We have good divergence signals right here and sharp divergence on the short term, uh, on the short term growth. So yes, DNL is showing us that it's it's starting to bottom out already. Ang recommendation ko po for DNL is bodega niyo po ito. Yun nga ang problema kay DNL walang volume, but the company is doing well. Um, what this is showing us is. There are lesser sellers already. Wala nang gaano nagbebenta. Market is just low, very low in volume. That's why hindi irap po siya umakyat. So what I will, what I usually do here is ibodega nyo po ito um, while the market is still down. Kasi mahirap nito pag umakyat na. Okay. So yeah, I will recommend DNL para bodega nyo po. Then Alco, I'm recommending Alco. I did recommend Alco here, and then we are confirming the support again. And we have good price action for Alco already. It's a buy for me. Pwede nyo pong bilhin si Alco. Use this price area as your support for Alco. Next is MRSGI. Already record, uh, recommended MRSGI. Before, and then here's the pullback and then bounce. Recommended MRSGI here. And then here's the pullback and bounce. So we are reaching the support levels for MRSGI. And I want to recommend MRSGI already. DD. Double Dragon. Um, good support already for Double Dragon. We have divergence levels right here. Um, so this means uh, support in DD is already there. It confirmed the support here, nag pull back, and confirmed the support again. So how many supports do we need? And then there's divergence on those, those supports. Supports. <laughs> supports. So yes, it's already a buy for me, si DD. Okay? I am I. If you can, you can cut loss on DD if ever you need to, but that's already a very good price for DD. I am I. Right after breaking the downtrend, nag pull back lang and then confirm the support, bounce and then pull back and then we have a support right here and umaakit na po siya. So these are very good uh, price actions for I am I after hitting a very sharp divergence. So we have bottomed out most probably. Okay. Uh, very big chance that this has bottomed out already. So you can position some now. Strictly for trading, just cut loss if ever mali tayo. Okay, for IMI. But ganda na nung position sa pinapakita ni IMI. Uh, Primex, Primex for trading, strictly for trading. Uh, we are starting to spike up for Primex. Nag-break nag, nag out siya sa previous na resistance niya, which is which was very strong. But ang ganda kasi ng presyo ni Primex, very low risk at this support right here. Why not test it out if you want to really trade PSE? This is a good position right here. Uh, lastly is FPH. Meron siyang malaking volume yesterday. This is uh, this is something good. Okay? Um, yeah, I'll be recommending FPH already since after the downtrend, nag round bottom na siya and with the volume spikes on those supports, I will strongly recommend it already. Ang kagandahan po nito is this is for trading. If ever mali tayo, very low risk ang position niya ngayon. So I'm strongly recommending if ever gusto niyo pong mag-trade FPH right here. <coughs> ah, my nose. Sorry about that. Maris Swasin, Sir Lloyd, good morning po. Please share insights on Phoenix preferred shares. Okay po ba mag-invest doon? Yes. Especially that Phoenix is on a very good position right now as a business. Ang ganda po ng position ni Phoenix, especially politically speaking. 
Milita the military is being supplied by Phoenix military alone and laki po nang kita ni Phoenix diyan. Um, Phoenix is able to penetrate the, uh, the 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 airline businesses sa Pilipinas so it's a very good position actually. So Phoenix, yes. I will recommend okay naman ang ano. Okay naman ang position ni Phoenix, Phoenix as a business so their preferred share should be okay. Uni Nani, good morning Sir Lloyd, SSI Web and Vita. <laughs> Um, SSI mm -hmm. Recommended SSI here So market na si SSI um, Medyo parang pa pullback siya um, It's really challenging right now But overall SSI is still very cheap Okay okay pa rin si SSI overall But I will recommend Mas maganda sana kung dito sa baba When we recommended it So try to bargain here at the very bottom If gusto nyo po pumasok Uni nani okay Web naman si Web Recommended Web already at the support And then Web started to go up already um, medyo mabagal yung galaw niya kasi volume is not good but ganda na pinapakita na numbers ni Web so this should start a trend okay so anytime soon pag bumalik sa support yan at nag bounce pasukin niyo po si Web I will recommend that just do test buy since sideways trend pa naman yan Jason Yabaw Sir Lloyd tanong ko lang po sa MP2 program mas maganda po ba all in at pwede po yearly ko makuha ang interest salamat po Hindi po eh. Uh, I will recommend i-all-in mo kasi sayang yung panahon. Kung kaya nyo naman ng all-in at binilinalagay nila sa banko at hindi naman ginagamit, lagay nyo lang sa MP2 program. So, I would recommend all-in for that situation. Pero kung wala kayong pera, hindi mas maganda yung monthly. The monthly is a good option for those na uh, monthly lang uh, monthly lang nakapag-ipon. Pero kung may ipon na kayo at sa banko yun nila man iniwan, I'll go, I will recommend go all-in for MP2. But make sure you need that money 5 years after pa kasi hindi po yearly makukuha interest niyan. It will uh, compound and compound for up to 5 years. 5 years po ang holding niyan. Okay? So, but if you need the money, iba-iba kasi situation eh. If you need the money maybe next year or next 2 years, huwag niyo po i-all in sa MP2 program. Yung, uh, make sure you don't need the money in the next 5 years. Okay? And then, let's say gusto mong, gusto kong bumili ng bahay this is the best application of MP2 program. I always teach this. Let's say, gusto kong bumili ng bahay five years from now. Gusto kong makapag-ipon ng, let's say, one million pesos. Diba? So, by now, starting na year one, I all I will already start saving for a month. Diba? So, my, my one month ako, let's say, savings ko in one month is one, uh, 10,000 pesos. For five years, I'll be saving 10,000 pesos. So, I can build the one million and... I can pay it for the house. At least down payment na malaki. At least kalahati, di ba? So, pwede yun. Um, why, do you, why do I recommend putting it in MP2 program? Is because kung sa banko nyo po linalagay yung 10,000 pesos na yun every month, hindi pa tumubo. Tumubo man yan, napakaliit. Kakainin pa yun na inflation. So, as much as possible, do, doon nyo po ilagay kung saan mas malaki ang tubo at mas safe. Okay? Kasi you need that money, that money is important. Huwag niyo po ilalagay sa stock market. Stock market is high risk, high reward. Only put money you can afford to lose. You cannot afford to lose that purpose na pambahay. Baka wala kang bahay ten, 5 years from now. So huwag niyo ilalagay sa stock market yan. Put it in MP2 program, 5 years. Kasi ang ganda ng tubo, withdrawin niyo, then you can buy your house. That's the best application for MP2 program. For short term savings, right? Maybe 5 years. Kung mga long term naman, for example, retire for retirement savings niyo po, which is very important. You should start also. Meron dap din dapat kayong retirement savings. Kung savings po ito na pang retirement, let's say you have you are allotting 3,000 pesos a month for your retirement para pag-retire ko, may millionaires ako, hindi ko na kailangan magtrabaho. Instead of putting it in the bank, lagay niyo po sa isang VUL or insurance uh, na may investment. Right? It's called VUL, Variable Unit Link. Uh, search for your talk to an agent right now. Lagay niyo po sa VUL program. Huwag niyo po ilalagay sa uh, sa banko, right? So, those are the best applications for those. Very good question, Jason Yabao. Uh, Sir Lloyd, willing po ako mag-invest sa inyo sa mga isda next year? Paano po mag-apply OFW ako and affected po ba yan ng mga bagyo? Right, it's obvious you haven't watched the video yet for mangisda.org. So, please go to mangisda.org. Go to the website, mangisda.org and please watch this video. We already showed, um, click here, full view full video of our cause look at the seas right there dagat po yan pero wala pa kayo makikitang alon right this is a very safe area nagkakaroon lang ng alon dyan pag bumagyo nung nagbagyo yolanda 
um, saka lang nagkaalon dyan. Pero hindi sila affected. Look at this, mga bangka. Mas malaki pa alon ginagawa ng bangka kaysa sa alon dyan. This is a very good location because it's enclosed in a, in, in a cove. So, wala pong, wala pong alon dyan. Makikita nyo po yung dagat, walang alon. Right? So, this is very feasible. That's why this is very feasible for fish cages. That's why this was tagged as a mariculture park by the National uh, Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, sa BFAR po. Right? So, this is my managing director here in the project. This is my dad. Um, he he was the 2012 BFAR director then. So this is his expertise. Right? And meron na pong mga farm dyan actually running right now. Just that, mga, mga tao po dito, wala pong pera pang operate. That's why we created the mainz.org as a as a financing firm to help the fishermen there. Okay? So, yes, nakatago po yan. Uh, if you wanna look at the entire map, nakatago po yung location na yan. Ito. So, wala pong alon dyan talaga. Okay. Um, so, yes, check out the website so that you can see more. May FAQ po dyan. We'll edit the FAQ uh, this coming days. But anyways, yes, just go to mangisda.org and uh, join. Click on join so that you will be uh, directed to our registration page. And then once you register, um, go to our Facebook page para may updates po kayo. For this, um, for this month, mag-update po kami sa inyo. Um, just search for mangisda.org in your Facebook. This is where we place our updates for for the, uh, for your fishes. Ang mangyayari po dito is bibili kayo ng isda and then we will manage it for you. Right? So, kami na po ang mag-aalaga. Kami na po ang bibili ng mga feeds. Kami na magbabantay. Kami na magbebenta, And then, profit sharing na lang tayo. Right? So, this... Uh, like this page and then dito po yung updates lahat makikita nyo po updates this is my dad um, nagmana ako sa kanya he is the favorite speaker ng BFAR sa, when it comes to about fishermen and teaching fishermen ha, the modern way of fishing which is the fish cages siya po ang nagtuturo sa mga tao niyan and this was in Lawag this is the managing director of our project there so yes um, updates are here makikita nyo po updates sa mga isda we are gonna be doing sampling for October makikita nyo po gano'n nakalaki yung isda October we can already harvest by December actually so sa laki ng mga isda na ngayon okay so yes please share uh, please like this page um, Alan Katipon IRC my volume po yes very good si IRC kaso nga lang si IRC na recommend ko na yan noon mataas na po si IRC bakit anyway, baka, ngayon pa kayo papasok kung may volume May volume po siya, pero dito po natin pinasok kasi kung kayo, ngayon nag-aantay pa kayo ng volume, wala na ang taas na. That's why I always recommend for you guys to start um, start at the support kung kailan wala pang volume. Okay? AC, uh, tech po. Um, meron po dito ang tech. Magkano po minimum at maximum sa mga isda? Um, wala naman po siyang maximum. Um, ang maximum lang is as long as meron pong slots available kasi we are only limited for the for the meantime since pilot project pa lang yan apat pa lang po na cages ang inalaw namin now if everything runs well um, para po huwag pa mabigla doon and we want to make kasi bago ito eh this is a new style of management ang ginawa namin because we need to manage the funds etc para po huwag kami mabigla we started small. We, we started with just four we in websites, the nesting namin, and everything. And then once we are do we do well on the first batches, we are gonna be expanding. That's where we start in, uh, expanding. Minimum po is six thousand five hundred per unit. So that's fifteen thousand fishes. Um, let's say uh, let's let me do the calculator. So calculator. That's so in a cage there are fifteen thousand fishes. And then uh, we divide that into uh, times uh, divided to uh, no 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 not multiply to six hundred fifty six hundred fifty k. So no, I forgot the math. But any anyways, yung seven hundred fifty thousand. We just basically uh, calculator. Yung seven uh, six hundred fifty thousand. This is the worth of. One cage and and then salat ng fishes jan. So we divided we divided it into one 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 hundred slots and per slot pa is six thousand five hundred. So um six thousand five hundred po ang entry per ano. So there are fifteen thousand fishes divided by divided by um one hundred. So per slot po is around one hundred fifty bangus po ang binili niyo. Habang maliit pa, kami na po mag-aalaga niyan. So, 150 fishes is around 6,500 po. 
So, yan po. Um, si Tech. So far, so good. Si Tech is giving us good price action. This is already divergence levels for Tech. So, very good supports. If it goes back to support, you can test it out if you want to trade it. Okay? Um... Sir Lloyd, good morning. Ano po requirements opening eToro account? Passport and any other uh, valid IDs. I have a table for that. Let me try to check it out. Let me open it for you, okay? Really quick. One moment. Ito po yung my requirements. Um, eToro. Ito. So, I want to share this to everyone. Yan. So, dalawa po. Hindi po pwede magkasabay in this, ano, in this, ano ha, in this, uh, in this table. So, dapat, kung passport po ang ginamit nyo, pwede po itong pang backup. Right? But, um, hindi po pwede passport at diverse license. Dapat, it should be on a separate chart. So, this is proof ID number one, proof ID number two. So, passport, pwede nyo po i-match with any of these or diverse license, you have to match it with any of these. So, the, I, any of these two. Pero hindi po dapat magkapares na passport and then driver's license. Dapat separate po. This is the partner niya. Any, any, any of these options. So please do a screenshot. I'll post this also in um, the Billionaires Club today. Okay? When you create an account. Alright. So going back to our topics. Alright. Um, no volume po, sir. Okay na po, sir. Internet ko lang pala. Alright. Ah, yung volume. Akala ko volume ng ano. Um, Joseph Tanel, magkano po minimum maximum sa mga slides? Just 6,500, no maximum po as long as may units po available. Alan Tiga, sir, sa free day trading seminar, okay lang po ba virtual money muna gamitin sa high risk account? Yes, pwede po yan. Right? Jose Delphine, maguad, um, 6,500, one fishes, say 2 pieces for kilo is 180 per kilo, yield around 13,500. Tama po yan, yun po ang yield, right? For, um, kasi, uh, no, no, 6,500 investment, 500. Let's do the math again. It's it's on a different ano. It's on a different. Uh, it will be on a different um, mathematics. So yeah, basically, ang returns po natin jan. Yeah, one eighty na natin ibebenta. Yet, but anyways, that's on a different topic. Maybe one of these days, before we open another slots, we're gonna do a live on that. Uh, I'll prepare the mathematics for you. Si pakita po namin sa inyo. Paano yung kitaan dyan, right? Um, but yeah, you can already go to mangisda.org. You can see the cages there when we created the cages for for the batches. And we when we deployed the cages, may mga videos po dyan. And when we deployed the fishes, linagay na po namin sa loob um, ng, ng cages. Andyan po lahat ng updates. This were, were the fishes already. We're gonna update you this month para makita po namin gano'n na kalaki mga isda na binili po ninyo. Right. Um, this were the cages where when it was being deployed. Linagay po natin sa laot. This was the, this were the cages when it were it was being created. So everything is updated here. At least makikita niyo po yung mga isda ninyo na binile. Uh, this was the supplier when we went to the supplier. This this is where we buy the small fishes for you. Okay. Um, sir, waiting for mangisda.org to open again. January po mag open tayo for sure. Pakita lang po namin sa inyo this December when we harvest. Pakita namin sa inyo how profitable the business is before we open uh, more cages for you. Pero so, abangan nyo na po um, yung 13th month pay po ninyo. Uh, save it already. Okay, so it's 9.23 and uh, market is very thin though okay naman ang takbo ng market. It's just that manipis ang market. So, don't be too aggressive right now in trades. Right, maliit na pera lang para pag nag-bullish ng market, may pera pa rin kayo. Hindi maubos sa market ngayon at hindi maipit. Okay? Um, bodega, do test buys, and never go all in right now. Not the time to go aggressive. I'll see you again tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone.